Hey, welcome back to part two of the Share Builder tutorial. And um, I'm going to get back to uh, addressing how to use Share Builder for certain things. And, um, you know, I, I want to say my goal is to keep the video short, five minutes or less. And I, I realize that the videos go sometimes to ten minutes, you know, sometimes a little bit longer. And, you know, my goal is always to keep it five minutes or shorter. But, you know, I start talking to you guys, and I, I really want to help you guys out, so I start thinking of all the details that I can give you. So, if you feel like, you know, the videos are kind of long, be patient with me. I'm going to try to keep the video short and concise, but, you know, I'm trying to feed information to people, and I realize everybody's at different financial knowledges. Well, everybody has different financial knowledge, so some people appreciate the more long and detailed and some people just like get to the point so anyway we're back to the share builder tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do research on share builder so I'm turning to the uh, web page now and I know that you don't see it a hundred percent clearly but I give the you know the oral tutorial you know you hear my my voice and you hear what I'm pointing to so when you're in front of your share builder account just remember the things that I I, I say even if you don't see it too well. Okay, here we go. So back when Share Builder and I am going into the research tab. Now you click research and then you know this is how you can I'm 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 trying to zoom in really really deeply but this is as far as my camera is letting me zoom in. I have to see while I'm telling you so. And basically it's a it's a great research tool. It has a portion with market tools. There's a portion with that that shows you, you know, market charts, has the Nasdaq and the S and P, you know, what's the current volume, what's the current price of of things that's trading. You can you can also develop a watch list which I have on my account you know sometimes you can't afford to buy a stock at a particular time but you want to watch it to make to see you know when will be a good time and just to basically hover over certain investments be, and think about you know what maybe eventually I will invest in that so you keep your watch list and let that grow and then there's a portion on the research tools, the find symbol, stock finder, portfolio builder, mutual fund finder, stock grade finder. The stock grade is used is it's a a feature for people with a uh more than basic membership. So, you know, if like I said, if you get more serious into it and want to upgrade your account, more power to you. I'm going to use the find symbol, which just basically helps you look up companies. I'm going to use a stock finder put uh the stock finder page which I use a lot it screens for stocks based on your criteria which is great so you click stock finder and then you know this stock grades and share builder stock share builder stocks is basically saying what's what what listings of stocks the share builder allows you to purchase share builder doesn't allow you to purchase stocks on all of the exchanges especially the small exchanges with low volume, sometimes they don't even bother with listing those. Those you can buy. Uh, that's why I listed Zecco as another site to use. Zecco, usually the over-the-counter um, exchanges, stocks on those exchanges usually have smaller market caps. You can use that to uh, purchase those. But this is this is cool because it basically lets you determine what stocks you want to look at and. My focus with you know people who starting out with small money, I always look for you to look for high performing stocks or stocks with, with growth potential that you know that are currently trading low at a, at a low stock price. So with the the first option to use is price. Click on that. Show stocks with a current share price. The minimum I keep at zero, and the maximum I keep at ten. Now, you know, you can go up to as high as $100 per share, but my my thing with growing your portfolio is you can buy a quality stock for $50 or you could buy several stocks for that same $50. And you know what? It's the it's the number, the rule of numbers. You 
will be able to uh, realize more of a return if you have more shares. So let's focus on shares that are zero to ten dollars. Then the exchanges. I like to look at all exchanges, all industries, all industry sectors. The key rule to diversification is is keeping an open mind and spending your money out. Some people might say, oh, stick with technology stocks, stick with consumer goods, stick with financials. It's all fair and dandy, but to me, I like, especially when you consider diversification, I like you to consider all. So I would keep it exchanges, all exchanges, right? Then volume size. This is the key. I, you know, minimum zero to, you know what? One million is fine, but let's go to ten million. And the reason why you want to 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 go as high as ten million as far as volume, because the higher the volume that's trading in the stock, is a general rule that you know what. This volume, the volume is so high because there's something going on with that stock. Albeit if it's selling at a, you know, premium or if it's selling at a discount. High volume means that a lot of people are interested in the shares. And you know, with investing, it's kind of like you want to have your own mind, but you also want to go see what sort of ruck it's about. So I would say, you know, a maximum of $10 million and the minimum you know what, let's make the minimum 1 million and the max 10 million. Because anything under a million as far as volume is probably not a lot of interest. A couple hundred thousand sounds like a good number, but when it comes to stock volume, I would say keep it between a million and 10 million. Now, market cap is another big thing. My focus, I, I like for people who are starting out to invest, is stick to the safe side. Stick to.